trying to figure out if, if what Mike McCarthy gave us in regard to the installation of his defense last year and what a jacked up, screwed up situation that was. One of the most arrogant and ignorant things I've ever seen a football coaching staff do is say, you know, we're going to leave the offense alone. We're a new coaching staff. We don't know these players. We're going to leave the offense alone, leave the terminology the same, make it easier on Dak Prescott and the players. Smart. You learn the new language. Rather than have 50 guys new, new, learn the new language, let's have 10 guys. That just makes sense. And then on defense, they did the exact opposite thing. They made the 50, 40, 50 players learn a new system, learn a new language, learn it all new, while the 10 coaches sat back and said, you guys learned it yet? We're on the internet. You learn it on the internet? Which was destined to not work, and then it didn't work. I'm at the AAC, by the way, home of the Dallas Mavericks. That's why there's all the yapping in the background, uh, unlike all the yapping in the foreground. It was arrogant. It was ignorant. It got Mike Nolan, and there's nothing wrong automatically and necessarily with Mike Nolan as a coach, but people think there is now. Uh, this organization all agreed to do this, Jerry, Stephen, and McCarthy, and then Mike Nolan said, okay, let's do it, and then got his head cut off because it naturally, obviously, destined to, failed. Now along comes Dan Quinn. They're going to reinstall the old 4-3, similarities, some differences, and I asked Mike McCarthy on Thursday, did you learn anything? Now, Jane Slater, she went at him a little harder than I did, but we went at him. Did you learn anything? And now that you've got another virtual season, possibly, uh, are there things that you can look back on going into the 2020 season and say, let's not do that again? And he said, yeah, we're going to strip it down. We're, we're, we're not going to teach as much. We're not going to put in as much. And he, then he told me, same thing on offense. We're not going to put in as much on offense either. Now, I really thought it was kind of a mea culpa. I thought it was, I, I, I'm taking the blame, my fault, we did too much. But then I went back and looked at my notes. And what Mike actually said in there, in addition to some form of my bad, never happened again, that was dumb, mea culpa, he said, well, he said, you know, we just, we just brought, in, we brought in too much volume. Now, that's a weird way to apologize. Hey, uh, Marsha comes to me and says, hey, Mike, you dummy. Uh, you you, you uh, forgot to lock the door. And somebody came in and stole the TV. Well, you know, Marsha, I was just bringing too much volume that day. No, no, I made a mistake. And so while I gave credit initially to Mike McCarthy for the mea culpa, the, the closer I look at it, the more I'm going, nah, in a way, it was kind of like when you go to your spouse and say, oh, you're offended? Oh, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Oh, you don't like that mean word I said to you? Well, I apologize if you took it wrong. Well, as any husband knows, any spouse knows, that's not really an apology. That's really kind of saying, I'm smart and you're dumb. Eat it. You apologize. It's your fault. You misunderstood me. You're too sensitive. You don't understand. And, and uh, Mike did say, you know, we're going to do a lot of, we're going to do some things different. He goes, you know, um, you'll, you'll notice them. And he goes, well, maybe you won't notice them. Okay, coach, I know, I know. You're smarter about football than all the rest of us. And, and listen, I don't know about you. You are smarter about football than me, but help me understand that that's my job is to serve as a conduit between Mike McCarthy and you so he can help me understand so I can help you understand. And I, I think I understood that it was a mea culpa and now I'm starting to wonder if that really was his intention. Uh, he got after Jane pretty good, uh, Jane Slater, our friend from NFL Network, saying that her reporting was about disgruntlement basically, which, which um, she nailed, and we did the same. We, early in the season, had players telling us, we, we don't understand what we're supposed to be doing. Now, they didn't say to me, these guys can't teach, which players said to Jane. Uh, and, and Jane absolutely nailed this thing down, and good for her. Players then, as you'll recall, as they were growing frustrated with a coaching staff that 
wasn't listening to them registering their concerns, complaints, and they did. Then Tank Lawrence said something publicly about our spine, and then Xavier Wood said something publicly about our hustle, and then Jalen Smith said something publicly about confusion. Why did they say those three things about spine, hustle, and confusion? Because they had already taken it to the coaching staff, and the coaching staff didn't respond. Then Jane comes out with a report, uh, outstanding work by her, quoting players saying, these guys can't teach. And that's what caused Mike McCarthy at the middle of last season to come out and make a statement saying, um, I, I, I'm, I'm learning to be a le better listener, he said, and my door is always open. That's, that, that, now that was a mea culpa. Uh, that was saying, I'm sorry, I need to be a better listener, good. Then he said, my door is always open. Problem, it wasn't. Maybe it is now, but it wasn't always open. Players did not feel like they could go in there, say their piece, and have it register, because they tried to do that with their coaches. So now, some changes on the coaching staff, hopefully a change in the mentality of the boss. Gotta involve them, gotta listen. Can't be stubborn, can't pretend like you know it all. If they come to you and say, I don't get it, it's not their fault. I said this about Jason Garrett's staff as a criticism, and Garrett himself, and I'll say it now. People think I'm a Garrett guy. I, I've, I said this for, for years and years and years. Garrett and this coaching staff used to intimate that the reason that they didn't run more complex routes, more combination stuff, more complexity in the tree, is because they were trying to keep it simple for that group of players. And I said to you, and I said on the radio, and I said in print, and I said it to Garrett, in public and in private, if the student is getting a D, does that mean he's a bad student? Or does that mean you're a bad teacher? Go look it up. I said it to him in a press conference, and then um, at another time, we went and met at the Star in private, and we talked about it too. And he, he did admit that's a hell of a good question. And if anybody who's, a, if you're a teacher, an educator, or a mentor, you understand the concept. So the same thing applies to Garrett, the same criticism applies to Garrett, and I'm applying it to McCarthy last year, and I'm applying it now. Simplify, good. At least for now, while you're installing. Simplify is good. Um, you don't owe Jane an apology, although I thought it was unfortunate that Mike said, well, that's your opinion. Coach, it wasn't her opinion, it was her reporting. Jane. I think like me, wouldn't pretend like she's an X and O's expert. She's reporting on what she's been told by credible people in the building and then Jane herself is a credible person in the building. Believe me, I'm reporting about disgruntlement. That, that, it's not my opinion that players were disgruntled and confused. It's not my opinion. It's their opinion. And so if Mike is taking issue with that opinion, he's once again disagreeing with his own players who, are trying to, who were trying to tell him that. Maybe they won't have to tell him that again this year. Maybe it'll be simpler, maybe it'll be clearer, maybe Dan Quinn, maybe Dan Quinn's a better teacher. Uh, I, they, they did have some people on the defensive coaching staff that weren't experienced enough to be in charge of what they were in charge of. That, now, now that is an opinion. But it's an opinion based in fact. Um, they won't have that problem with Joe Witt. Joe Witt's not going to be overwhelmed by running a secondary. They're not going to have that problem with Dan Quinn. He's not going to be overwhelmed by what he's doing either. And then even some of the younger guys, okay, this will be their second year. They should be better at this too. That is your hope. That is mine. When you make a mistake, when you get in an argument with your spouse, don't say, well, I'm sorry if you're offended. If she's looking at you like this, She's offended, and you offended her. And the, the two of you need to work as a team to work it out. The same way a coaching staff does with its players who are saying, we're hesitating, coach, because we don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Because we weren't, we're, we're confused. Either because we're bad students, maybe, or you're not a good enough teacher. So Mike McCarthy's I'm sorry, Mike McCarthy's mea culpa went as far as it went. And pending this coaching staff having its players stand up for the coaches rather than whisper, gosh, dang it, I don't get it. 
I don't like him. He doesn't like me. He doesn't get it. Hopefully, uh, under Mike McCarthy, this system, this staff, and the installation of this defense will be way better than it was a year ago. Thank you for subscribing to what we do here. Thank you for hanging out with us uh, all day and all night and all weekend long. We have now uh, up and over 23,000 Cowboy fans who don't just come here because uh, hundreds of thousands of Cowboy fans come here, but 23,000 of you have hit that button. Uh, so you get the alerts, you know what's going on, you're first here, you're best here. Uh, we're gonna give away some Mavericks goodies in the coming days. And then there's a rumor I might, first of all, there's a rumor I might go print a thousand books, uh, which might cost me some money. But I, I feel like there's a thousand of you that said, Fish, I'll take a Stars and Strife book. So that's something we can discuss as we go. But also Mavs goodies uh, out of the old prize, prize closet. Oh, I've got, I got a cowboy goodie and I wore it once on a show and it got rave reviews. Even all the rips and tears, the 1990 rips and tears. So uh, I'll give that away too. So get, be a subscriber and you get stuff. Besides just incredible information, straight dope, no baloney, fish out.